So the final level takes a chapter out of Mario Brothers 3. It's on a big ass floating ship with lots of cannons. Unlike Mario, however, you actually have some chance against the cannonballs because you can block them with your cape somehow. But those guys have no real pattern that I've ever seen to how they shoot. They just decide to shoot when they decide to shoot, so it's very easy to lose awareness. And the only warning you have is that brief animation before they actually throw a giant 50 pound ball of steel at your head. So quick reflexes are the way to deal with them. And they take a shit ton of damage for a regular enemy too. Although they have a better chance of dropping items than most enemies. At least in my experience. These guys just piss me off. I mean, they're not dangerous at all. They're just a hindrance. And not, not even a fun hindrance. They're just there to literally piss you off. And these guys are just fucked up. You have to shoot them in the ass, but they move so damn fast that it's difficult. And you don't want to get near them. That one generally just disappears, though. And these guys walking around with their steel penis. Now this part can easily, easily fuck you up. It's very easy to miss the previous block or this block and either have to deal with a night dude at close quarters, which just doesn't happen, it doesn't work, or you fall into a pit and die. And it's very, very easy with the way these controls operate to just fall in the pit and die. Now here's Arnold Schwarzenegger's duck form. And I say that because he turns into some creepy-ass Terminator version of a duck. But although they move kind of slowly when they first appear, they'll start jumping around. They'll just suddenly get this burst of energy and jump around like fucking Michael Jordan. And they're extremely difficult to kill, let alone evade. See, there he goes. And he will not stop. He'll just continue to do that shit until you die. And he can jump up on these boxes, I believe. So just blow away that normal form, let him walk by, and... You know, it's, it's like an old person. You don't fuck with him. Let him pass by, or you'll lose something. Ah, that drop there is another be careful zone. You'll just mysteriously not get it even though you hit it directly on and you'll start way the fucking hell back this is very unpleasant now those guys are just stupid they're probably the only part of this level that's actually reasonably easy slows down a bit, you have a little bit of time to kind of breathe. And in there is the end. In there is Steelbeak, the final boss, who's much, much harder than he probably should be. You use the lightning gas, you have to shoot those little, tiny ass little, uh, Christmas tree lights. While he, you're being chased by helicopter eggs that shoot red gag balls at you. And of course he fucks me, and I don't even think I hit him once. It's a pain in the ass to hit that stuff, and I don't even want to imagine doing it without the lightning gas, which you should have and have enough ammo for. Yes, this is, this is what the real game is like. You'll do this a lot. Uh, he's like a broken condom with AIDS in it. He's ex just extremely annoying. 
because those things can easily outrun you. And it's not the fact that they shoot the gag balls at you. It's the fact that they're that much faster than you. And they just take joy in using those gag balls to distract you while they fuck you up. The Steelbeak himself is fast, motherfucker. He is very fast. And he throws these giant, like, safe doors at you. I can't, I can't even tell what they are. But it doesn't really matter because he's not nice. But only if you actually are dumb enough to stand on the ground with him. Now, you have to to an extent. You have to get him to throw that shit. But just stay towards this middle thing and he'll never hit you. Once he's on the ground, he's kind of a joke in comparison to what he can do initially. And if you have the thunder gas, it's even more laughable. He certainly is more... Uh, or he certainly has a heck of a lot more life than a regular boss, I think. But For the most part, he's just an endurance battle. How much patience do you have? And that, that is the Darkwing Duck game. Probably the only saving grace of the game is the fact that Steelbeak was the final boss, and he was a, my favorite villain from the show. I don't know why. I liked him and Taurus Bulba, but Bulba obviously uh, kind of got short-dicked in the ass. This game really brings out the worst in me. It really does. But, but, it, it's not even done. I mean, even in the end, the game stays true to itself. You know, you, you think, ah, oh, I can relax. No! At the very end, hey, fuck you!